Hello friends, welcome back. Want to restrict the access in your Angular app based on user roles? In this video, we will set up the auth guards to protect the routes, extract role claims from the JWT token, and secure your app using Azure AD B2C. Come, let's get started. Alright, this video is part of the full stack development video series and almost the end of the series. So in this video, I'll show you how we will be protecting our route. And if you've not watched any of those video series, I will give you the details in the description. So don't forget to watch. Alright, so let's take a look at the demo. So this is the deployed application. So I have logged in. That's why all of these things are coming. So if I log out, all of these will go away. For example, let's say I want to go here. It is listing all of my questions. If I go here, it's coming. Let's say I copy this. I log out. Let's say somebody knows this route. Okay. So somebody knows this route and I'm clicking this. At least this route is not executed. Though it is not very friendly. Probably we should have redirected to a home page. But at least they were not able to go. But how is this finding out? How is this finding that, you know, only certain person can go inside? If you have not logged into this website, try logging in. You will still not be able to get in because the UI is able to find out, right? So how is this happening? So for users like you guys, right? So when you come, you're not an admin role. So basically, when you come, you will not be able to see all of these things. But you can still go and take up the exam. Like you can resume some exam. You can take up some uh, new exam. You can also see the existing exam. You know, all of those things you can do but you cannot go to any of these things where I prepare the question. So that's not possible, but it's possible for me, right? How am I, how am I protecting these things from you guys, right? Here's the thing. So when you log in, okay, there is a token. For example, the token that you get will be here. If I go to this token and go to jwt.ms, the token will have more information apart from these given name and all of those things which is coming from azure ad b2c attributes i have more attributes called x you know extension underscore user id and user role i am actually a customer role as well as an admin role but if you try you will have only the customer role so this is done in one of our previous video where we will do an enrichment of token using azure ad b2c api connector if you have not watched that you should watch that but for this video assume you already know and this token is coming the token tells the claim tells the token has a claim and claim tells what role they have based on this role we are going to restrict it let's keep it simple for this video so if you're going to do based on this information so i'm going to open up the angular application and in the angular application it's very simple we have something called guards okay we have something called guards and I have two guards. One is the admin card, one is the login card. Very simple. Basically, we're dealing with Angular 19. So for uh, guards, it has to be can activate function. Okay, in old, like less than 16 version, it was not Angular, act, like can activate function. Instead of that, it's can activate card. Okay, so let's explain this. I have a name called can activate card that implements the can activate function that takes two as the parameters all what we are doing is we are using the inject again inject is new you can inject an instance of a service using in inject like how you inject the a login service or any service in the constructor that is equivalent okay this is available only from 16 plus so remember we're dealing with the latest angular version so we have two instances called auth service which is the login service and the toaster service so the login service what it is doing is there's a variable called is login if that is true means they're logged in if this is false then it will become false so it will go here it will display this toaster message and it will force you to log in okay similarly for admin guard it has to be logged in but also there is something called user role that should have an admin how this user role is coming you can actually go here and see how the user role is coming 
so we are actually put reading this extension underscore user role splitting by comma and putting it as an array so for my case it will be customer comma admin so all what we are doing in this guard is again same guard it's a, just a different name we are checking it has to be a logged in person also the role should have admin if not they are not an admin but they are logged in okay so like we will say hey you do not have admin access you you are still logged in okay then we put them back to the home page but if they have not um, done anything like they're not even logged in then this will execute that's it now after you have these two guards all what you have to do is you have to go to the app routes and in this case let's say the question list right so after this component you have to say can activate you need to pass the card so in this case this route this route this route all the admin section routes are protected by can activate admin guards but if you see if you just want to take take up the exam can activate card as long as you're logged in enough so that's the difference how you have different cards that does different thing and you can actually have multiple cards which means you can say comma separated cards but everything needs to be true only then it will allow that route if not the route gets cancelled so this is how it is so simple to protect your route just by using the auth cards you just need to have some logic but if you take up this application which is there in github it is out of the box everything is configured and if you just start the application it will work if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any questions or suggestions let me know in the comment section join the telegram group we can chat there lively and solve your problems that you're facing or we can also help each other to grow better i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video guys thank you bye bye thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding